Did you party too hard last night? I know I did. Do you want to look refreshed so that you will be so beautiful? No one will notice how bad you feel. I know I sure do. So that's what we're going to try to do. Um, I started to film this and I didn't realize it wasn't recording. So I already got through my eye makeup, part of my eye makeup. But what uh, I'm, I love this. What I'm going to do is a look that I've seen going on Instagram somewhat recently um, about a hungover look and what you can do especially about just the dark circles that you get from sleeping in your makeup because you know you go out you have a good time but you still want to be able to function the next day and not have people be like oh what happened to you like maybe you gotta go to the grocery store maybe you're gonna go hang out with your family or brunch with your friends maybe you have to get up and drive a school bus and don't want to be a bad influence to the kids I don't know but I'm gonna show you something maybe you can do so no one notices how bad you feel because you look so good so just you're gonna do a very minimal eye I just took some creamy white and then just a little shadowy pink you don't want that real heavy You've slept in your eyeliner, so that's already done. And you don't have to worry about mascara because that's already done too. So next what you're gonna do is take your Grody Beauty Blender, that's already nice and damp. Just get your foundation, which guess what? it doesn't even matter. Like it doesn't even matter if your stuff matches because you're going for a very minimal look. So I have to, I have to mix it together because my skin is a weird color. Does anyone else mix two liquid foundations together to try and get something uh, that's a little bit akin to their skin tone? Oh, that yellow base. I just smeared it down the side of my hand instead of on to my mixing palette, which uh, anyway, I mix two foundations together in two different shades and I don't think it helps. So here's my mixing palette, my two shades. Dip into that. I didn't really get in there starting with these under eyes. Oh, that is too yellow today. I also used my Too Faced Hangover Rescue to prime, which is great. Um, but I still feel hungover, so it didn't exactly rescue me. But look at how much my skin is glowing and now covered with garbage. So it's really getting there. If you have bangs, you don't even have to worry about your forehead. Just do the parts of your face that people are going to see. That's all you have to do. Like that's the thing about makeup. If you want to make it last for a long time, don't do everything. Just do what's visible. There we go. So I'm right in my hair. <gasps> oh, this is horrible. Oh no. Okay. Well, See, that's because I did my bangs. Forehead. Okay, so once you have your foundation done, you can go in, maybe, if you want to be a little glowy. Um, maybe I do. Maybe I want to glow a little bit. So, grab your Pacifica Unicorn Bronzer because you are going to look magical. No one will notice you don't feel magical because you're going to look so good. Just dip your angled brush in it. If that is too much. And go on your cheek. You're not going to be Kim Kardashian today. You're not even going to be a Jenner child. You are just going to be Barbara trying to make it through bingo without throwing up on herself. There you go. Okay, so the look is not done yet. I know what you're thinking. Also you have to do, let's put on just a little bit of a lip color right now. Any pink you have works. It helps if it's similar to your lip shade. And rub it on. People ask me 
Oh, how are your lips so full, especially after a night like last night where I consumed a lot of whiskey? Here's a secret. When you come home and you take off your makeup, right, and uh, you crawl into bed, sleep directly on your face. All the blood will rush forward and it really just puffs you up and gives you this nice, healthy glow. So I guess I should mention I used uh, city lights in some color. I don't know. So you could go out like this, but this really doesn't up the looking better than you feel, Auntie. I didn't grab the right product. This is cool. This is real cool, guys. I'm so good at makeup. No, I'm not. Okay, so here we go. Go ahead and grab your Medusa's makeup in uh, The Fix, which is a little adhesive. Take your finger, get in there, and get under these eyes. Do it in a nice, maybe, triangular shape. My mom just texted me, but I can't read it because it's backwards. Let's get this nice under those eyes where you have those circles from partying hard. Really just freshen that up. And grab yourself a flat shadow brush. Grab King Me Glitter from Hard Candy. I don't even think they make this anymore. I bought this to dress up as uh, one of the My Little Pony characters one time. I think I did my eyebrows with glitter. That would be fun. Do you want to see me do glitter eyebrows sometime? It's uh, very difficult to get off. Just grab it. Just really tap that in there. Um, definitely don't put it so into your eyeball, but really just get in there, cover those dark circles. I'd like to keep my eyes open when I am doing these sorts of things, just so I can be aware of how dangerous and precarious I choose to live my life. Yeah, this is great. I feel actually like uh, Nikki Wire from Manic Street Preachers. Like, he would be all about this look. So, we got one eye done. And you know what? Speaking of Nikki Wire, I feel like honoring him. We're going to honor him with a little bit of Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. It's Nikki's favorite shade. I feel like that's everyone's favorite shade. And this, you just take right here and put it on that, just fluff it up there. Cause this has a shimmer. That way your shimmer up top can match your shimmer below. And just blend it with your finger. Just, I mean, you already are in sparkle town. Okay, now I know not everyone is a fan of pink. So what we're gonna go ahead and do on the other side is uh, our blue glitter ozone you probably recognize that from our last video and just uh no furnace no 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 it's gonna get loud it's gonna sound like a million airplanes in just a second because the furnace knows i'm recording or maybe it's not have you guys seen a christmas story because that is how i feel about my furnace i am the dad it's a new furnace but it broke the first day and I'm always battling with it because it's loud. I don't like loud things, but also I have a headache. I don't want to deal with it. I really feel like the pink side is winning. Now the reason why I did a triangle shape is because for the brightening to work really, you can't just do a half moon. It has to, like where light falls, it does fall in more of a triangle on the high parts of your face. So don't just half moon it, really, really work that glitter in there just in the same places that you would use concealer. I guess I'm making up a lot of this as it happens. 
we go. Oh, I just, I can't stop the glitter. I just want to kind of work that out. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. All right, and then one more time with our Midnight Cowboy. And voila. Done. This is your finished look. You're going to look so good that no one's going to notice that you feel so bad. And all the ladies at church are going to be jealous of your great makeup. Which side do you like better? Tell me which side do you like better. I like the pink. All right, um, thanks for watching. I may never post this. I just thought it would be fun to make. Um, and I am literally gonna go clean my house with glitter on my face. Bye.